Hello everyone, this is Debbie Henderson from Debbie's Designs. Welcome to my weekly Sunday share. I'm gonna give it a few more seconds for everyone to find me. Happy Easter, everyone. I hope you had a good day, even though most of us are sheltered at home to stay safe and healthy. I hope you still have managed to have a happy Easter. So tonight I'm doing a technique with you guys. Um, I also wanted to mention while everybody's hopping on, I've been holding some classes on my Stampin' Ink Designs group. I've been doing two or three classes a week live just to keep everybody stamping and we get to socialize a little bit with each other. And I just wanted to show you the cards that we did yesterday. I think it was yesterday. Um, I actually did two techniques with the class. I did the ready form technique, which is just a lot of sponging and a lot of stamping, a lot of fun. And then I did the masking using a post-it note. We stamped around a post-it note. So if you're um, into stamping and would like to join my page, just look for Stampin' Ink Designs Group. Ask to join. And I'm going to be hosting another class probably on Tuesday. I, I started getting ready for it today. So just a few announcements. Hello, everyone. I can see you all coming on. Again, happy Easter to everyone. So my hostess code for the month of April, make sure you enter the code when you're checking out of my online store and you get to earn free products from me. Now, I did get a few emails last week wanting me to explain this further. What I do is everybody uses the hostess code. Everybody is grouped into a party, a workshop, and whatever the hostess rewards are, I divide that amongst whoever used the code. So like last month, everybody got to choose, um, it was like $13.91 worth of products for free that I mailed them. This is my free card kit for the month of April. Anybody that places orders of any amount, you'll get all the pieces to make this card. And my last announcement, this is my door prize for the month of April. Your name will be entered into a drawing to win this stamp set. So I have some really neat, I have two cards to show you. They're the same. They use the same technique, but different colors. And I've advertised all day. I'm using nail polish today. And I tried to find some nail polish that matched some of our stamping up colors. And let me show you what those cards look like. So this is called the nail polish background technique. Here's the first card. You can see how I did the background. And I also did the coordinating flower. And then the second one is using different colors. And I put the flower on the top instead of on the bottom. So that's what I'm gonna show you how to do today. Let me give you a listing of everything that I'm gonna use. Most important is paper towel. I use a foil uh, plate or whatever you want to call this a pie plate and then we're gonna use some water I'm gonna dump about half an inch of water in my pie plate and then this does get a little messy so you need gloves and you might need a stick just to stir it around now let me show you the colors I'm using so I just want to look, see if, if you agree. This looks like Blueberry Bushel, Poppy Parade, Petal Pink, pretty close. And then on this one, Mint Macaron, uh, what did I have? Rich Razzleberry and Highland Heather. And these are just nail polishes that I had laying around that I no longer use. They're quite old, but they work. So for the card bases on the cards that I showed you, I used Blueberry Bushel and Highland Heather. But tonight I'm going to use Poppy Parade and Rich Razzleberry. They both measure 11 by 4 and a quarter, scored at 5 and a half. I'm going to put everything way over there because we're going to do this part first because it has to dry. Two pieces of Whisper White, 5 and a quarter by 4. And then this is watercolor paper. It works the best because we actually dip this right in the water. So watercolor paper is your best bet. 
and I used the rectangle, st the stitched rectangle dies. For the watercolor paper, I used the square number two. And then these are Whisper White. I've got two of those. And that one is square number one, two, three, four, five. Square number five, or rectangle number five. And then the sentiment that you see on both cards, it says, Oh, darling, you are fabulous, comes from the stitched all around stamp set. Okay, let me just move everything over so I don't mess up anything. I'm also using the four petal flower punch, blueberry bushel, and rich razzleberry inks. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put my gloves on. Oh, I do need to grab a couple tissues too. Okay, there's my tissues. So let me go ahead and put on my rubber gloves. And the first thing you need to do, you kind of have to work quickly. I'm going to do these three colors first. So I'm going to go ahead and open up all three of these. I shook them right before I, I went on live, so make sure you shake them well. And all we're going to do is pour them in the water. So there's color one, color two, and color three. Isn't it neat what it's doing? And then quickly, I'm going to take the watercolor paper and push it down. And look what happens. Look how nice and neat and shiny and pretty that is. So now I'm going to put this down here. And let me see, I'm going to use the tissue. And what I want to do is actually pick up what's left in there. You're going to see the tissue will pick up. See, it picks it all up because I want to use different colors. Okay, so I've picked up all that was left. Now I'm going to do the other three colors. Isn't that cool? What do you guys think? Give me a thumbs up if you think that's cool. I went to school for art, so I love doing artsy stuff. Okay, now we're going to use Blueberry Bushel, Poppy Parade, and Petal Pink. We're going to do the same thing. So I'm going to go ahead and pour that in. There's the blue, the red, and the pink. Now what you can do, and I didn't have to because it mixes very, you can always use a stick and just kind of swirl it around if you want to create like the tie-dye look. Again, I'm going to take the watercolor paper face down. And look at that. Look how pretty that is. Now, let me go ahead and move all of this over. We're going to have to let this dry. So there's my two panels. I'm just going to move this plate of water over. And now while that dries, actually I'm going to take the heat tool and just um, just heat it a little bit while, and then we're going to work on the other, other layers. I'm hoping this is going to dry in time for me to be able to show you how I did the punching. I'm just going to dry a little bit and I'll, I'll keep going with my cards and we'll come back and dry more if we have to. This one here is drying really fast. Okay, so I'm going to let that be just for a little bit. Let me bring in all the other layers. And I'm also going to bring in the cards so you guys can see them again. So now we're going to do the stamping of the sentiments. And I'm kind of just going opposite colors. Here I had the blueberry uh, bushel and the poppy parade. I'm going to swap that around. I'm going to do the sentiment. 
with blueberry bushel this time. So there's the first one. Let me clean that off. And then we're gonna use rich razzleberry on the second one. And that one's gonna go on the bottom. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put the inks away. So you guys like that, isn't that cool? Now let's go ahead and fold on the score line. See, I've got nail polish on me already. Even though I wore gloves. Okay, so there's my two card bases. And I'm gonna go ahead and glue the Whisper White on each one. There's the first one. Now what I normally do too, I pick up all of the, the remaining nail polish out of the water because I really don't want to dump that down the, dr the drain. So I like to pick it up with either um, tissue paper or paper towel. That way you can just dump the water out. Okay, now we're ready to glue the layers. I'm gonna dry this one here. It's still a little wet. The blue seems to be taking longer. I'm gonna dry the back side too. Because what I did, in order to get a flower with the same pattern, I actually punched under where the sentiment layer goes. So I'm, I'm using this panel for two purposes. It's just hard to punch if the paper is not completely dry. Okay, that's drawing really well. Let's see if we can do some punching. So what I did is I knew that this was gonna go right in the center. So I punched my flowers. Now let's pray that this works. Yep, it did. Okay, there's my two flowers. So now I can go ahead and glue this panel, I'm gonna actually use liquid glue in case this is still a little moist. Let me get another tissue. I don't wanna get nail polish on my counter. So I'm gonna go ahead and add liquid glue. And glue that to the card front. Oh, isn't that pretty? Now, let me see if I can push this down. And then we're gonna glue this in place. And again, I'm gonna use liquid glue. And we're gonna cover these two holes. You'll never even know that I punched those out. And then dimensionals for the flower. I'm gonna glue the first one in place and then add the second one on top, again with dimensionals. I'm gonna fold this one in a little. Let's see, I want a little bit more green down here because there's a lot of green at the top. And then I'm using the clear faceted gems for the center. Let's see, I'm gonna use the medium sized one. And then I made my own little embellishment by using the nail polish. Let's see, this time I'm gonna use the green one. Now this you're gonna, we're gonna have to let dry for a bit. So all I did was dip, hopefully it'll, hopefully it'll drip for me. There's one. See how cute that is? That's nail polish and once it's dry, it actually flattens out and it's so pretty. Look how shiny and nice and round those are. So I'm going to go ahead and set this aside. Now let's go ahead and work on card number two. And I'm hoping this is the one that's still quite wet. I'm hoping I can still punch. 
There's one and two. And we'll bring the Poppy Parade card base in. Let me get my tissue. Oh, I'm loving all the hearts, you guys. Now I know all of you must have nail polish that's just sitting in bins somewhere that you're not using. And as long as you use the gloves, really, there's no mess to it. So this one has a little bit of a marbled effect to it only because I use the stick to stir it. Okay, here's layer, the sentiment layer. And boy, does it reek of nail polish in here right now. Okay, there's that one. Now we're gonna add the flowers. This one's gonna go on the bottom. Another dimensional. And again, I'm gonna fold this one towards the center. And another clear faceted gem for the center. And this time I'm gonna use the red for my little, my little drops. Hopefully I can get enough on there. There's one. Look how cool that looks. I love that. You know, and I wonder if we could put some of this like on a um, wax paper and just peel them off. I'm not sure. So let me get this over to the side. I'm going to bring all of the cards back in. I'm going to be careful with the two I just did only because the little dots are still drying. And then these are the two that I did previously. So that's my technique for the night, everyone. And um, I hope you will join me on my Stamp With Me class on my Stampin' Ink Designs group. I think, I'm pretty sure this is going to be on Tuesday so far if I have everything lined up. So thanks so much for joining me tonight. I hope you liked my technique. Happy Easter, everyone, and I'll see you soon. Good night.